I'm John Hayes and I'm a soccer farm here in Capamore in County Limerick. So I lived here on the farm always, but I suppose growing up, Dad was in charge, like you know, and we all went away to get jobs working, and I served my time first uh, as a fitter welder, and then after I got lucky enough to play professional rugby and got a good long career at that up until my late 30s, and it was a great experience to get to do that. A lot of people say that it's great balance, like you know, especially rugby and farming from a physical point of view, like you try and get things done and you get a little bit more out of yourself to try and see what you really can achieve. We've got mixed soil here. Up on the other side that we can't see there is fairly good, but then the other half of the farm, this side of the road, is always needs work. Like, you know, it's a constant thing every year. You have to keep on top of it and uh, try and do your best with it. So obviously, rushes have been a problem with some of the wet summers we've had lately, and you don't want them just left behind lying on the ground. So it's one thing to get them cut, but you need to do something else. And so I've been looking around, and I've seen the cyclone that I've been looking at it for the last couple of years, and eventually have decided now to make a move for it. The first thing you need is you need something tough because after years like last year, it can't be flimsier. It has to be able to take a bit of punishment because after wet years, you're going to have rush that's going to be stronger. The ground is going to be a little bit rough, so you need something that can take that bit of tough work as you're trying to get through it because you're trying to make up for what maybe you didn't get to do last year. So I suppose like when you go out to buy anything, you're going to start looking at it. And the sheet metal that's folded forward and the way it's galvanised dipped, like it's a really strong, robust build, you know, with the galvanised, the dipping of it, it's going to last from a rust point of view. It's just really well designed because it's not heavy on the back of the tractor. When you lift it up, it's not a load in itself, but yet you just know by the look of it that it's not just a flimsy cover, it's the whole structure of it is, is, is really well put together. Like I said before, there's kind of two sides to the farm really. There's the hillside at one side of the road and there's the lower side here, so it does a good job on those heavier stuff that you need to clean off, but then on the other paddocks at the other side of the road where cows have grazed off, you can get into them and you can fly along at a higher forward speed and you can just clean it off and it comes back really fresh afterwards. So from that point of view, it can do both jobs. You know, you're not afraid to go into the heavier stuff with it, but when you have to go into the, to the cleaner paddocks to just to clean them off, to just do more standard topping, it does a great job on that as well.